Sometimes it feels like you're just banging your head against the heat pump. So we've had this heat pump installed now for the best part of nine months. And every time I make a video where I talk about how much it costs to run, I get told, you can't use your figures, you can't use previous bills, my house is different, blah, 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 blah. Well, today I'm gonna fix that, I'm gonna let you use your own numbers, and I'm gonna prove to you that my dog can't stay away from the camera. Yo One eternity later. So today I'm gonna let you use your own numbers. Now I've built a tool specifically for you so you can model what this would cost you to run. Let's head into the office and I'll explain more. So here's the problem. It doesn't matter what my numbers are because every single house is gonna be different. Your levels of insulation, the energy that you use, the price that you pay, all of those are gonna be different. Now there are a number of different ways we could build a simple calculator. We could do this in a spreadsheet and I could share that with you via Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. So on my website, I've built a little tool. So let me share my web browser. If you head over to jonathantracy.com, so ignore the rest of the site for now, it's a work in progress. But if you go to the tools section and you scroll down, you will find this heating cost calculator. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you the basics of it, and then I'm gonna let you play with it till your heart's content. The idea behind this tool is it lets you model, it lets you tweak the variables and see what would happen. So really behind it, it's a spreadsheet, but what we have are a set of inputs, a set of efficiencies, and then we have some results. And then underneath that, I actually have an explanation of the formulas. So if you want to see how I reached certain numbers, um, you can actually do the calculations to yourself to verify that the tool is working. But it's pretty simple. Enter a currency symbol, it's set to pounds by default. You can put whatever you want in there. All it's gonna do is change the currency symbol down here. It's then gonna ask you how much heat you require. And this is where I think a lot of my previous estimates have fallen down because how much heat I need is irrelevant to everybody else. So you can put in any number of kilowatt hours of heat you want there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my January figure into this box here. So we will go along and we will put 607 kilowatt hours of heat that we, that we used in this house in January. Then it's gonna ask me, what do I pay for gas? So at current prices, pence per kilowatt is 7.62 pence per kilowatt. Electricity price in pence per kilowatt. Now I'm asking you for two electricity prices. One is a fixed price. If you were on a fixed tariff, so this is Octopus's 12 month fixed electricity tariff if you are in the east of England. Remember, everywhere else in the country, different regions, different prices. So put your price in there for your fixed energy tariff. And then underneath that, I've got the electric price for a time of use tariff. Now, rather than get you to put in every half an hour of the day, I'm asking you just for a daily average. So in my case, I'm on Octopus Intelligent Go, which is about seven pence, plus uh, we, a little bit of energy that we sometimes draw in from the grid. I'm gonna be generous and say it's about 8.2 pence per kilowatt. And that correlates with what I'm seeing from my uh, other tools when I average out my energy over a longer period of time, I'm paying about 8.2 pence per kilowatt hour. But again, your price, not mine. Now, once you've put all those in, just type them in in pence, um, we'll move across to the efficiency section. Now, there are three different efficiencies here. The first is your gas boiler. Now, if you were like me, you had an old gas boiler, um, you're probably running an efficiency of about 70 to 75%. So let's be generous and say 73%. Now, you can just drag these sliders to get the, uh, the numbers that you need. So with the resistance, heating, if you're using storage heaters, you're using oil-filled radiators, you're using anything that is an electrical radiator that is not a heat pump, then this is the efficiency you put in there. For most people, that is gonna be 99 to 100% efficient. So 
I would just leave that. I've set it as a default of 99, but if you want to play with it, it is completely up to you. And then I'm asking you to put in your coefficient of performance of your heat pump. Now remember, there is a lot of lies out there on the internet that says if you don't have a coefficient of four, gas is gonna be cheaper. So I'm gonna currently leave that at about 3.5 because that's been my average between January and July. We've averaged a coefficient of performance of about 3.5. Now, the last two boxes under here, the resistive tariff, you can either have, uh, sorry, I've got to remember to click it on here. Um, I can have either a fixed tariff or a time of use tariff. So it might be on uh, one of the uh, octopus tariffs that are specifically designed for storage heaters. But for most people with electrical resistive heating, they're probably on a fixed tariff. And then obviously as a heat pump user, you're gonna be on time of use tariff. But if you want to change that to a fixed tariff, you absolutely can. Then the last part is really your numbers and they, it's already calculated them for me. So every time you make a change, these will update and it will tell you what is the best and what is the worst. So in this case, you can see if I wanted 607 kilowatt hours of heat, that's for both hot water and heating, with a gas boiler, it would have cost me 63 pounds and 36 pence. If I used electrically resistive heating, it would have been a crazy amount of money, 156 pound four. And if I were to use a heat pump, it would have cost me 14 pound 12. Now, what if you live somewhere where you can't get a time of use tariff, but you've got a heat pump? Then all we're gonna do is change this to fixed. And as you can see there, our heat pump cost jumped to 44 pounds and 14 pence. It is still cheaper than a gas boiler. But what if you've got a more efficient gas boiler? Well, in that case, we're just gonna take our efficiency Let's push that all the way up to 95%. Let's say we've got an ultra modern condensing boiler. It still doesn't make any difference. It tightens the gap between a fixed tariff for a heat pump and a gas boiler. But the reality is, if you're on a heat pump, the likelihood is you're on a time of use tariff and it's gonna pull that right back down. So you can fiddle with these three efficiencies to see if you can make a gas boiler cheaper than a heat pump. Now, it is possible, but it's not realistic. So if we were to say our gas boiler was 95% efficient and our heat pump had a coefficient of two and we were on a fixed tariff, then the gas boiler would be cheaper. But the reality is nobody has got a heat pump with a coefficient of two. If you have, it's broken. Get somebody in to fix it. So. How far do we have to push that up before this becomes not the best? So if we go to a coefficient of three, it's still slightly more expensive. 3.4, we're already cheaper than a gas boiler. So this is a really simple tool. It just allows you to play with the numbers and see what comes out the other end. Now this is just version one of the tool. There are a hundred other things I could build into this but I'd like to know what you would like me to add to it. Tell me what you'd like to see in a tool like this, or if there are other tools you would like to see that would help you with this decision-making. Anyway, head over to jonathantracy.com slash tools, have a play with it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. With that, it just remains for me to say, thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you found this enjoyable and informative, and hopefully I won't be have to be out there banging my head on the heat pump going forward. Take care. Bye.